Hey, good morning. So I just got out of church and it's been almost a year, I'd say, since I've been. Um, I'm a non-religious person, so it's not like a routine thing that I would do, I would say. Plus, my close friend who used to attend this church is no longer religious. It kind of happened out of nowhere. He just one day had an epiphany that other things serve his life better so um just coming into here first off the pastor is well spoken very eloquent and he always has a drive to preach which I love um I've gotten really lucky with a few churches <clears throat> finding really good pastors and this one I particularly like um so with saying that I feel like Anytime I come out of here, there's just so much good knowledge. And it's a good refresher course as well to stay grounded. Um, so like I said, I'm not really religious. I don't believe in Jesus Christ. But if you get past all of the preaching about finding Jesus, there's really messages embedded into every service. So this one was about not giving up. And also to serve in life. So that's either like helping people, helping people out, doing something for others. So, and I really agree with this. These are some really, really simple things. Yet, I don't know. The way that the pastor does it, it's, it, it, it just brings you back to a sense of reality. Like, yes, it is so important to help other people. It is the purpose of life. Um, and it's something that I would like to sort of incorporate more into my life. Um, I feel very blessed, uh, the point and where I am right now, but, you know, of course I want to grow more as a person. And also another thing he spoke about is not giving up. Uh, we can be discouraged in life, which is true. I mean, I can definitely think of one permanent example in my mind where, you know, I felt discouraged and I wanted to give up. But, you know, the key is sometimes we need a snap in reality. Like, hey, pay attention. He used the analogy of a teacher yelling at a student. Like, hey, pay attention. So, e even adults, you know, we, we need that focus and that guidance. And I, I'm just going to say that I was searching um, this service just going in for some message and I'm really happy because every time I do you know come here I've I got that piece of advice for the week that just says hey you know live life with purpose live life with meaning be intentional you know and good things will happen just really be a good Samaritan is so for those people who are just like hardcore like atheist or whatever I would my advice to you is find a good church, find a good pastor, because, I mean, these are all variables that are important, important to the equation, um, and just try to see, you know, what the pastor is saying aside from faith. Aside from, you know, religion. Try to really listen to the message. Because, really, all religion is doing is to tell you how to be a good person. Now, some people might have the opinion, well, I don't need to be told how to be a good person. I already am. Or all that jazz. But it's just... I just really implore people to try it out. Just because if you, if you are open-minded, such as myself... I, I feel like you'd benefit so much. I mean, it's it just really, really just, like I said, brings you back to reality. I feel, I always feel really grounded when I hear this sort of stuff. And, you know, I, w I wouldn't be encouraging people to do this unless I felt otherwise. So, yeah, I mean, try it out.